What is happening guys, Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the newly reformulated and released Dynamite Clay from By the Lane. And as we talked about a while back, this brand has rebranded and updated their line. I have published vids already on the Gold Digger and Silver Fox, but today it's all about the Dynamite Clay, which the brand officially describes as a professional high-performing clay wax that adds maximum texture and hold with a matte finish. As far as packaging goes, it is in the same black 2.2 ounce jar that we're using used to seeing from this brand, but with an updated label design that I think is actually very nice, and it's priced at $22 US, which can be discounted to $19.80 with code MMTV at checkout at the Slick Hair Shop. Inside the jar here now, we do have the actual product. It is quite similar to what you might expect if you were one of the many people who tried this product in the past. The biggest thing that I see here too, coming from the old one to the new one, is that the new one is a bit creamier than the previous formula. Not a ton creamier, but definitely noticeably so. Obviously too that slicker consistency does translate into a little bit of a different experience when styling with it and I'll be showing you all of that here on my usual method of use with products like this clean dry hair and as I begin the demo I first notice that I am obviously in need of a dye job I mean those grades are getting quite out of control. Besides all that though I notice initially the creaminess of the product gives off a very different presentation in the application like I said this clay usually was quite Quite dry and sticky but here it's very slick and only slightly dry and slightly sticky compared to the old one which is definitely new as I add in a second scoop here I am able to see some of the hold strength kind of come through though which I do think is actually comparable overall to the old one as far as hold strength goes but the slickness really does change the entire dynamic here it's for sure not dry like other clays that we've tested out but I still think there is a clear difference here between this the silver fox and the gold digger which I will touch on later. For now though, this is the end result that I got with the clay and here is a look at that same style four hours later, which I do think gives you a clearer look at what they mean by clay wax. You can kind of see the waxy presence in my hair. It's really coming in to hold things together, which is also cool because it's not making it look shiny or anything like that. The clay is actually dulling that out. Most importantly though, it's holding things together and in place. Here's the same style eight hours in and you can see it's actually performing very well especially on the sides which lately as my hair's grown out has been very problematic as far as hold goes they always seem to want to just pop out like springs you know just want to spring off my head but again that wax portion of the clay is really holding things together and I think it's actually doing so without weighing it down it's still giving it somewhat of a shape texture yes is a little bit low we will talk about that in here in just a second but overall I think eight hours in this is looking actually very good for me here the major differences in this version versus the old one has to do mainly in the slickness of the product and within that the tack and stickiness for me this version is for sure more slick which I think is actually an improvement because it opens itself up to more hair types comfortably folks with thin or fine hair I think will enjoy this more because it's not overly tacky or dry like I saw some folks say about the old formula I think also this is a common theme actually amongst all of the reformulated products that we've seen so far from by Valane. They've, they've made each one more slick in their presentation and application, and I think that really opens them up to more styling options and more hair types. I think also, on the other hand, you can argue that hold strength with that stickiness has gone down just a little bit. I think that only makes sense, you know, when you take something that's super sticky and then you make it more slick, you can... Depending on the hair type or the style, you can say that the hold can be jeopardized a little bit. I think it actually depends on the product because, you know, if you do it right, which I think ones like Gold Digger, for example, have done it right, you can actually take that hold and just distribute it a little better across the hair while still maintaining the strength. And I think they've actually done that with this one and the Gold Digger. I do also think that this is a big positive thing for some of the people that thought it was just too intense. You know, I saw a lot of people that thought this product was too dry, it was too intense, it was too sticky. I mean, I, I guess it really depends on how the product reacted for you previously and your current preferences, you know, because I think that also has shifted and evolved for people over time. You know, for me, 
For example, this right here works wonderfully. It's got a killer blend of waxy presence with thick and slightly dry attributes that I think controls and holds my hair really well without being overbearing and weighing it down. I do think that in my hair, though, little piece of criticism that it was a little bit light on the texture. I, I think I would have really liked to have seen some of that that clay effect, you know, I, I saw a little bit of it in there with the matte finish and it had a different overall feel than the gold digger, but it didn't have as much clay effect as I would have personally liked. You know, it's not the huge, hugest deal because I think the end result still was also very good. But, you know, if you're going to call it a clay wax, I do think you should have some of the clay aspects in there. And really, once again, in the eight hour endurance test, I think it just performed really well. So that light light clay effect is really one uh, well it's not the only piece of criticism for me that that is one of them. the other one actually has to do with the scent and I don't know if you can really call this criticism per se I think the the scent is actually I believe the same as the previous version so it's not like my most favorite scent in the world but it's also not terrible it's not it's not bad it's it's nothing like I said but I call it criticism because I've seen by Valaine release some really awesome scents you know some really good ones like the limited edition gold digger for example that was a great scent so I have seen them use some really great scents and I would have preferred something like that over the the scent that they brought back from the original dynamite clay that's not terrible like I said so it's you know you can kind of take that for what you will I also want to quickly mention that in regards to the washout it did uh, it was it was what I would consider to be an easy Easy washout. A lot of it came out with just water, but what it, there was a little bit left over after the water rinse, which came out with shampoo. So again, in my opinion, uh, uh, that's you know this is how I usually gauge it when it comes to washout. I think that that does qualify for me as an easy washout. I am somebody who washes and conditions my hair every day, so for me that really wasn't a problem. I'm going to wash my hair anyway. So whether it's a water rinse or it takes one shampoo. It's all easy for me in the end. Finally, after looking at the Gold Digger, the Silver Fox, and now the Dynamite Clay Reforms, what I see as far as changes go is the Gold Digger has a matte finish with no texture hardly at all. I mean, some I think in some people's hair, you can argue that there's a, there's a little bit of texture there, but for me, I didn't really see a whole lot. And, and, and I don't think there's really meant to be texture in there because it's just a, a wax. You know, it's not like this who actually, that actually has the clay in there. So that's what I see with that. The Silver Fox, on the other hand, is similar in terms of performance, but it does have that little bit of gleam to it. You know, not a whole lot, just a little bit there. And then finally, we have the Dynamite Clay here, which comes in with the hold of the Gold Digger. I think it's actually very comparable to the hold of that Gold Digger, but it has has a little bit of clay effect in there to keep things matte. I again, a little bit, a little bit light on the texture and other clay effects for me. But you know, I do think that that it does separate itself very much with the other two products of the lineup. You do have, I think, a little bit more of a waxy presence with this one too, combining with those clays to make that hold and endurance really awesome. And as far as which one I like better, I actually think um, I prefer the Gold Digger and the Dynamite Clay probably, you know, the same over the Silver Fox, which is not, you know, a dig at the Silver Fox. I just think that the Gold Digger and the Dynamite Clay perform just about the same for me, and I, I really like both of them. But I do hope that that helps you know lay out the differences in the reforms i know when you're you're looking at things sometimes it can just get a little confusing you know what does what especially when there's new stuff you know so you when you want like just clear differences between all three so i hope that helps you out and i really hope you enjoyed this review of the dynamite clay if you did leave me a like on this video and maybe a comment too down below let me know what you thought of the reformulated clay here and which product from the new reformulated lineup you prefer if you've tried them or or which one you want to see covered next. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that for me. It's a huge help and something that you can personally do for nothing that just helps keep things going around here. So please consider doing that and thank you very much in advance for hitting that button. That is it though for this one. I will be back with you guys here very soon and until then, take it easy. I'll see you next time. And thank you, Jeffrey, for the awesome camera movements during this episode. Thank you, sir.